Hello, everyone. And welcome to a Saturday. Wow, you really hid that yawn uh, so I, well. I try. <laughs> I do my best. I do my absolute best. Welcome to Saturday, children. Yes, welcome to Saturday. How is everyone? How's everyone's uh, week? We had a really good week, honestly. It's been a very good week. Like, not it's just talking busy. sales. It's been a really nice week. We've had such yes. good weather all week, which unfortunately is kind of coming to an end for the time being, but Ugh. we had a fantastic weather week. Yeah, we got we, to sit outside. We've been living, we it up, living it up like it's spring all week long. I think, like, the temps were mid-60s, kind of, for a good, like, three, four days in a row. So we grilled... Three days. We got we some made, outdoor stuff done. We made turkey burgers, then we made grilled chicken, then we made turkey burgers. <laughs> you tell that we are the white meat household. We're we a eat white a lot of meat. Household. We eat a lot of birds in this house. <laughs> yeah, a lot of poultry. The dogs also enjoyed their outdoor time. I think I really wanted to put in this clip because I just want you guys to see it. For some reason, Mike and Will are like obsessed with celery. They're goats, which is amazing <laughs> because tiny little herbivores. It's obviously healthier for them than giving them treats or bones all the time. It's not dangerous they can't choke on it mm -mm. and there's literally nothing to lose all it does is make them have to pee a lot it's, which is fine because it's all water <laughs> but they love i don't know if it's the crunch or I what the crunch. but ryan took these basically like asmr level videos <laughs> of them eating their celery outside so i would like to insert that here for you guys to enjoy so turn crank up your turn up your headphones crank that volume up put on your bose noise canceling Get in headphones space yeah and and ready to go to bed it's close your so nice. eyes Crunchy dog ASMR. Like a petting zoo. So they enjoyed the outdoors as much as us. And, well, yes. close to as much as us. It was so nice. And it's like blustery and freezing cold right now. I can hear the wind. It's not and that it's kind of disappointing. It's not that cold. It is windy. But anyways, besides having a good week, I guess personally, we had a really good week, I feel like sales-wise, too. I do have a lot of sales this week. I didn't really pay attention exactly to what the stuff was like to what seasonal stuff it was <laughs> we better find out but i guess we'll find out but i mean it was a mix of selling the like lower more regular price things like mm -hmm. 25 to 40 dollar sales yeah. with i feel like there was a number of higher dollar sales this week too mm -hmm. like bougier items which we'll dive into but seems like everybody's out shopping all the different yes. demographics what was i saying the, the closer we the get to spring break the closer we get yeah to people like cracking open them little pocketbooks every now and again so we we will jump into those sales in a segundo here, but before we jump into the sales, of course, we do have a Valentine VIP that we would like to highlight for y'all. That one couldn't be hidden. And also, we're going to have the return of it this week because I've been missing it every week, and I only think about it when we're editing. I haven't had you go, yeah. Oh my gosh, in like I was two just going to say, it's been a minute. And nobody called us out on it's it. I'm surprised. Minute. Unless I missed the comment, nobody said anything about it. Guys, you have to keep us in check. <laughs> you keep us in check on everything else. Keep Let's check on this. Hold me accountable. So the Valentine VIP this week is Miss Kitty eighty three. Oh, I love that. Name. That's Miss Kitty. Miss you. Kitty. <laughs> And that is Kathy, but that's Miss Kitty. Kitty Kathy. Yeah. So Kathy Kitty. Kathy has her closet, Miss Kitty 83, M S K I T T Y 83. And she has all kinds of cute stuff in there. So she has some really good summer and spring stuff right up at the top. A lot of really cute Ooh. dresses. She had a really cute Alice and Olivia, like red maxi dress. It was so beautiful. Alice and Olivia it. kind of has been having like a, a revamp. She is having a revamp. I feel like She's a lot of people, it's kind of like doing really well again She's now. She's having a new moment. She also has some really cute vintage pieces i think she had this like boiler suit jumpsuit denim thing with patches and embroideries all over it she this had right up my alley she had a lot of men's so if you're a uh, male watching or if you'd like to buy some men's things or if you have a boyfriend husband something like that lots of good men's stuff in miss kitty's closet i have to go check out little miss kitty and then of course she had like favorite daughter she had some good anchor oh. pieces she had all kinds of the solid we love to check the box stuff. queens yes so she's of course the first link below and what we would like you to do for her is go give her some love can you imagine if i had a bottle of water right here <coughs> yeah! 
There we go. Dang. I feel like that was too weak. It came back strong. Yes, it did. That was yeah. a two-week worth. So buddy. thank you so much mm -hmm. to Kathy for being a Valentine, and thank you to all of our Valentines. As per usual, we appreciate it so freaking much. And if you haven't left your closet username in the last Valentine video, go back. It was so. the men's bolo one. You don't even have to watch it if you don't want to. Just leave your username there so we can highlight yeah. you. But otherwise, before we jump into Posh, let's talk about some other platforms. So honestly, Mercari was like a, a quiet, open, like barren field for me. It very nothing was happened. It was like yelling into the a room of nothing. Ah! So nothing from Mercari this week. Not even one that like was low dollar and I'm skipping it. I just nothing at all. But eBay did do quite well for me as it has been lately. And then I don't really have anything else. So eBay is my only non Poshmark platform. I lied. I did have one Mercari sale, but I shipped it and completely forgot about it earlier this week. And it was this beautiful handmade vintage 1970s red gingham tiered little midi dress. This looks very, who was George Washington's wife? Karen Washington? Leslie Washington, whatever her name is. I have no idea. Barbara Washington. <laughs> oh, Betsy Ross. I'm getting my historical figures. Dolly in Parton Washington. Dolly Parton Washington. <laughs> Who's this? This is my wife, Gerald Ann Washington. Um, sold for $60. Full price. This is Mary Todd Lincoln Washington. This is Mary Todd Lincoln's sister. <laughs> Mary, Mary Todd Washington. <laughs> they all just, all the wives are Mary Todd. Anyways, did platform? you have any other platforms or just eBay? Oh, yes, I did. I had some beep pop sales okay, as well as let's some pop. Let's sales. pop some depops right now. Then. I depop this week kind of like, whoop. She kind of took a little, she took a little spike, she which was good. Depop hasn't been like as big as it has been for me in the past, but like, it's nice to see a little growth. First up was this Y2K patterned brown plus size baby doll cap sleeve blouse sold for $22. Then a full price sale of this Victoria's Secret pink cottage floral lace baby doll slip lingerie top small sold for $34. Red, blue, purple, lace, satin, silk, flower, floral. I have wish titles. Yeah. I have wish <laughs> titles. My next one on Depop was this Happy Colors patchwork embroidered long sleeve hippie hoodie. Small. Hippie hoodie. Sold for $25. Next Y2K plus size chocolate brown pleated cap sleeve v-neck lattice hem top. Sold for $25. Next was this black silver studded punk bra sold for $16. I found that one for you and I was tempted to sell that one myself. Kind of fits my cute. Depop style. She was a little cute moment. And then my last on Depop was this pair of Harley Davidson Y2K black low rise flared track pants sold for $24. I also did not realize that I had a couple of other Depop sales that did not get marked as like sold. Oops. My next on Depop was this Juicy Couture chocolate brown velour two piece. Jack found this to me and gave it to me and it sold for $125. That was worn by on Depop. Beyonce it's back in the Beyonce. actual days of Y2K. Yes, it was. And you guys might remember it. I think it was in that thrift with me maybe like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. I was just like, oh, and I grabbed this for Ryan. Um, little did I know. It was a $125 moment. Thank you. He'll probably be talking about another really good sale of something I found him once mm -hmm. we get to eBay. My next on Depop, and I think this is the last one, Y2K Sage Green Floral Lace Asymmetrical Hem Bow Halter Top. This is Cottage. This is Cockette. This is Fairy. This is Goblin. So this is like trash. I don't know what this I don't know. Trash what goblin. Is. This is garbage woman. Yeah. I have no idea. So for $34 and I will make a twenty-six twenty. Wow, where'd you get one. that? You. Yeah. Pinkfully. Okay, so let's move on to eBay and I will cover my eBay so that I can finally have a moment to speak. I feel like my voice is never wow. heard on this channel. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start Let off with the Let me go get a mirror yeah. and just tape, it and tape that to my face. <laughs> First off, right up my alley, this is a totally weird random brand, but of course you'll be able to see why I picked this up. It is a brand called Spiral. And these was these, Ooh. it was these skull painted men's streetwear goth punk emo cargo pant shorts. <laughs> and these I picked up totally based on style. Actually, I think this brand isn't even that expensive. Mm -hmm. It's not like cheapo quality, but it just isn't that expensive to buy. These sold for 29, buyer paid shipping. And yeah, I apparently got some positive feedback on those. So I'll have to go look at that. Then I sold this Hobo International Leather Fold Snap Card Holder Long Wallet. Hobo, kind of like Alice and Olivia, has rised back from the, rose back from the dead. She's here. She is literally undead. Because yes. Hobo has went from like good to bad to good to bad Drab so many times. to fab every other day. And I feel like going from a bolo to a nolo is a pretty common occurrence. Yeah. But going from a nolo to a bolo is a rarity. So Hobo's got that. 
in her back pocket. Real. In her card pocket. You see that? So for $30 through promotion. Then I sold, this is a Bolo brand if you do not know it. New Works, it's spelled N-O-O-W-O-R-K-S. Usually their stuff is super whimsical, super fun, really so weird, cute. wacky, like artist drawn prints. This was the Frida Hayes quirky graphic printed midi dress. Sold for 70 through promotion. Buyer paid shipping. I did have this listed at 130 and I probably could have got more, but I like to make sales. Their stuff is worth a lot. If you find it, hold out. Then I sold this Night Night Monkey Monkey rare retro Halloween graphic printed pair of pajama pants. And when I tell you that these sold within about 10 minutes of me listing I would like to revisit, the, what's that, pardon that name? Night Night Monkey time. Monkey. That is a Target brand that I don't think that they sell anymore, but this these are Target pajama pants. Oh. This... <laughs> If you may not know, I have my fingers on the pulse of the Halloween community. Shocker. These pants are really popular with Halloween people, and they haven't been sold for years, so a lot of people hunt them out, and sure enough, that's why they sold so quick. Night, night, sold night, for night, 30, night. but again, Target pajamas. Not new with tags. 10 bucks new. That's great. That's crazy. Then I sold this Madewell 2022 slub flannel thick shirt. Sold for 23 and buyer paid shipping. Like I said, kind of if it's like within the past three years, I do like to put the year in the title just to show yeah. like this is current versus like this is super old. Then a really good sale. For some reason, Tory Burch was popping off this week. Not sure why, but specifically on eBay. Summertime. I sold this springtime. Tory Burch rare Rihanna oversized turtleneck no not rihanna the singer <laughs> i love rihanna, and then I, I I love rihanna. is that gonna go good with her umbrella yeah yeah it's i'm sending a free umbrella with it that's why it's just, the, that's why it's here's the your reason. umbrella yeah. ella, ella. this sold for 310 dollars <laughs> this was a tory birch <laughs> runway piece which is pretty crazy it was also so cute though i will say i've had it for a long long time and mm. i wouldn't pay up for something like this again and the buyer paid shipping it was through promotion then i sold these tory birch jet Tessa pointed Tori. Oh, <laughs> Kitten heel leather pumps. I literally typed T O R instead of T O E. I love the Jessa. I've said it before and I'll say they it again. Really I love good. the Jessa. It sold for $200 in buyer page shipping. So again, don't know what's going on with Tori Birch. I don't know if she just had some like the re, the revamp, the re, the re. I don't know what her dealio is. Then I sold this pair of Pacific Cotton elastic waistband mid length shorts. Pacific Cotton is a brand under the Bryn Walker label. I love Bryn Walker. And last up, I sold this All Saints Rowan Ink Tie-Dye Hoodie Sweatshirt for $49.20 buyer paid shipping. And actually, that was international. I love. So my first on eBay this week is something that I should have shown you in my little haul, but unfortunately, she sold. Airy Chocolate Brown Waffle Knit The Lumber Jane Sweater. This one is new tags for like $75 or $80. And I sold mine for $40. Go me. My next was this Arcteryx Orange White Plaid Melody Roll Tab little shirt, button down shirt thing, sold for $35. I don't like something. My <laughs> next on eBay was this Nadam Cashmere Blend Ribbed Reversible Dress. Bolo. This is a bolo if you have not heard of it. Nadam makes very good, very expensive, very sought after cashmere pieces. They do mm -hmm. have commercials that, even on- They, they run, play like soccer with the Peruvian and they like, run, farmers. They run on YouTube sometimes. Maybe they've been on our videos. Cause Maybe. honestly, sometimes if you mention something, they do play them on it. Yeah. So. Either way, good pickup. I paid like, I think 25, 20, 25 dollars for this cause I'd never tried it before. For and it was new with tags. Sold for 100 bucks. I think that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Spend 20, make 100, minus fees. I'll probably walk away with like 80 something. Yeah. Call it a day with $60 in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Really cute. Next was this Anthropology and Aster. ASTR every now and again can be sold at Anthropology, and it's usually like the dresses, the jumpsuits, a little bit more substantial, kind of like formal esque pieces. But now that I'm looking into the store more, it also can be sold at Every quite frequently. Yes, it can. Way more frequently mm -hmm. than Anthro, and I would say that those are worth picking up. Oh, yeah. The ASTR stuff that maybe is neither, I'd be a little hesitant on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That one sold for $25, and I'll make something. My next one, thank you, Jack, for giving me mm. all of this money. This, this one week. I had no clue about. I still would have given it to Ryan, but like, wild. <laughs> If you find it again in the future, please send it my way. Yeah. Next was this Cope Copine, which I've never heard of this brand. Well, I have heard of this brand, but I've heard of it like back in the ye old times, like back in the day. Back in the medieval days. Literally, like <laughs> way back when. Avant-garde, like, and look, 
Y2K pleated little trim ruffly skirt thing sold for $140 full price. I make something. Dang. Very dang. Dang dong. Dang dong. This is amazing. Anyway, my next on eBay. eBay was like really here this week. She really like had her little moment. Vintage 80s single stitch horse print t-shirt sold for $20. A horse girl. I got that coming I, again. I got that I fund your life. Thank you. He fun. funds the thing and then when I pay for dinner, I'm like, this is just your money going right back to you. Thank you. <laughs> my next on eBay was this Unif and Urban Outfitters a little plaid cardigan sold for 20 bucks. Next was this Gal Meets Glam, the Vanessa Midi Canary Yellow Linen Dress. I put Easter Dress in the title because I think this is a really good Easter dress. These go for like 40 to 60. And this one sold for 45. I paid 13 for it. It was just a really quick sale. Yeah. You know, and like, boom. And it wasn't one of those ones that's like worth $300. So like, Mm -hmm. You know, easy money. My next was this Eats Franz, also given to me by Jack, Y2K, monogram, zip cropped, a little top thing, sold for $24 via promoted listing. Next was another full price sale of this Harley Davidson white biker logo, thumbhole top, sold for $24. Next, and finally for eBay, was this oh, wow. Madewell Flutter Sleeve Floral Mini Dress Cottage Core, sold full price for $38. Dollars. So boot up that list perfectly again and get cross yes. posting to eBay. Holy. Put the things on eBay immediately. Yeah. Alrighty, so moving on to Poshmark. Well, I don't remember even if we said it, but it's the week of the 9th through the 15th. And on the 9th on Poshmark, I had six sales. I had three. My first sale was this Christian Dior double-breasted wool structured blazer. This actually was Monsieur, so that explains the slightly lower price tag for Dior. They sold for $100 and I get 80, but I will take that from Monsieur. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this Michael Simon vintage beaded embroidered wacky crazy kooky sweater. Oh, this was adorable. Sold for $70, I get 56. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what I expected for that one. I had a price of like 100 I think. Then I sold this Freebirds pair of Cassandra pink strappy heeled sandals. And these sold for $150 and I get $120. I had those listed at $250, which is probably shooting a little too high. Yeah. But I will happily take $150. For a pair of sandals? Then Absolutely. I sold the Anthropology Aldo Martins printed. It was some line called like the like chameleon path or something i don't think like, it was i could hardly even read the something. label it was like some older diffusion line of his sold for 30 i get 24 newer more like normal aldo martins i expect much more than that for but oh, i will yeah. still take 30. Mm -hmm. then gretchen, gretchen. Popped into my closet. gretchen vibe. said she has a boho hippie vibe to her so Good she her. purchased the old navy extra high og straight quilted knee detail jeans these are so adorable this is my second time selling this exact style sold for 35 i get 28 so gretchen i hope you love those i just like love those they jeans. are so pretty then i sold the alpen rock men's aspen snow mass graphic sweatshirt sold for 35 i get bolo. 28 alpen rock is definitely a bolo i probably could have got more for this because it does go for quite a bit more but again it was a bins find i'm totally willing to just move it quick easy money yeah easy money okay i think that's the title of my week this week easy money easy money just Get them out. First one, these were also in a haul, and I feel like I actually worked for my money with these because I had to put the drawstring back in. Which is, <laughs> which pain in the is butt. really annoying. Pain in the butt. The which I also don't find this brand too much anymore. Also Bolo. The great oh. stadium washed black drawstring pants. These were great. I was like, oh, these are gonna these be are like really old and really crusty. And come to find out, she just didn't use any fabric softener. Mm. So I threw them in the washing machine with a little fabric softener. And they perked right back up. These sold for $68 and I make $51.42. Keegan just found some like a really cute the great sweatshirt. Oh, I love it. Mr. Teen Seller. Oh, hi little Keegan. Next on the ninth was the Zara White Sheer Organza sleeveless top. This is literally like if somebody cut two holes in a tissue <laughs> and sold it. Like it's, So if you it's want one, funky. grab a Kleenex. Cut an armhole Make in it. Make it like the snowflake just... cutting thing back in the day and just cut two symmetrical holes and then... And that's it. Yeah. Put a grocery and bag on it's, and it's and the just same vibe. Right, Zara right. with a Sharpie and it's the quality's there. That's it. You can smell the children that made this. Yeah. So for $28, I will make twenty two forty. Next was also from the Benz Hall that you will see on Tuesday. This unfortunately already did sell. It was this Aritzia Wilfred Brown Merino Wool Pilled Cardigan. This was really pilly. I noted it, but I knew this would sell, and I knew I would make a little bit of money on top of it. It sold for 20 bucks, I make 16. It comes, I pay $2.50 for all this stuff. So like, easy. Mm -hmm. Somebody gets a cardigan, I make a bunch of money. Good, good, good. On the 10th, I had four. I had four as well. My first sale was this Johnny Was 
Tanasha cotton floral embroidered top. Johnny Wise is not performing like it used to. No. In any way, shape, or form. It's definitely not a no low, but like it is not a pay up for a brand really anymore. Unless maybe you find like Baya or you find like a coat or something really Or new with tags or like really, really good. Yeah. But this sold for only $40. I get $32. I'm sure that I paid up for this somewhere as in maybe like under $20. Because I don't picture finding yeah. it in the bins, but I don't honestly really remember. Then I sold this Patagonia Women's Better Sweater Full Zip Vest, sold for $40, and I get $29.98, which is great. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this Ever Eve Sanctuary Daily Button Front Floral Blouse for $28, and I get $20.38. Do I picture selling Sanctuary for $28 bucks ever? Not really. So that's Thanks, pretty Ever Eve. <laughs> Super pretty, though, and I am loving the Ever Eve. I love it's that. doing I love so it. good. I'm loving I've, it. I've committed. Hook, then line, I, sinker. This was one of my good Poshmark sales. I sold this pair of Dolce and Gabbana rare butterfly leopard printed platform sandals. Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> and these sold for $350. <laughs> I have had them for a hot minute, maybe like a year, but I'm willing to wait a year for $350. Absolutely. And I get $280. And the woman said, spectacular. Good. That's her love note, which I love. Good for her. My first on the 10th was not as illustrious as a $350 <laughs> pair of shoes. It is this vintage 70s granny square crochet pillow sold for $29. And I will make $20. 22. My next on the 10th, I also sold a pair of Freebirds. I found these at Unique, my favorite thrift store in the entire world, for $13, and I used 20% off. So go me. They were the Freebird by Stephen Rohde Cognac Brown Knee High Boot, and she bundled it with this Everlane Black French Terry Lounge One Piece bundle sold for $120. I will make it $96. The Everlane was from the bins. The Freebirds, I was like, yo, I'm gonna make $100 and I'm gonna walk away. Yo, with that. Free You know birds. what? Like, I'm gonna take my coin and I'm gonna leave. Easy. I will make it 96 after the fee. Next on the 10th was something out of my own personal collection. I bought these not knowing how Nike shoes fit and they absolutely did not fit my little foot at all. And my little, I mean like, I'm the ugly stepsister that's like just putting her big toe <laughs> in the glass slipper and she's like, it fits. And then he pulls the skirt up to reveal like the god awful, disgusting, like Lame. nine foot long foot. Nike Dunk Low Teal Zeal Lace Up Sneakers. I still want a pair of these shoes in my size. Because you I really need teal. more sneakers. I really don't. I really don't. I'm also entertaining the idea of like a mustard yellow pair. I think they'd be mm. really cute. Sold for $40, I will make 32. My next on the 10th was also from that Ben's haul that you will see on Tuesday. And it was this pair of Spanx New Black Booty Boosted 3.5 inseam booty padded biker shorts. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Sold for $38, I will make a 27 42. Yes, which Ryan's haul that had to be pushed off is going to be on Tuesday. So we're going to have a little different schedule this week. And the haul will be a Tuesday situation instead of a Thursday yeah. situation. So Easy. Thursday will just be something else that has not been decided. But Tuesday will be his haul. Okay, so on the 11th. I had five. I had five as well. My first though was this Nike NSW Thermafit Rebel Puffer hoodie jacket. Sold for 61 and I get 4582. That was really, really cute. And that was a recent Ben's find. Then I sold this J. Crew Cocoon Coat in Italian Stadium Wool. Ooh. Sold for 75. I get 60. And this is why it is so hard for me to skip J. Crew wool coats at the bins, even if it's like July. Because, like, it's an easy 75 bucks. They're always, you know? yeah, like, 75 to to $100. Then I sold this Rails Leopard Print Gracie sweater for 17 I get 13.60. Just perpetuating the idea that only Rails button-ups and flannels. Only the flannels. And nothing yes. else. I'd still get anything at the bins, but nothing performs as good as the button-ups. No. Then I sold this Ula Johnson Sasha turtleneck sweater for 160 and I get 128 I think I paid between like 60 and 70 for that. That's cute. Then I sold an Every piece once again, Roan and Ryan ribbed Madison sweater. Sold for 18 I get 1440 I could have got more because this had a lot of likes. It but was really cute. I don't know. I just was like, I the sweaters go. Make the money. Not right now. Then I sold this Young Fabulous and Broke Tie-Dye Distress sweater for 24 and I get 17 18 I honestly didn't think it's that. 
<laughs> like you young fat guys hey, and broke. You I make sixteen dollars like, and you walk away. Yeah, like so, somebody gets a sweater oh, and you didn't lose and money. That right? was the twelve, so that was a preview. <laughs> okay. My first on the eleventh was another sweater. Rock and love, deep V neck, cozy white sweater. I think this was that like Elam. E L A M. Elan. Elan. Whatever that little boutique brand is. They make kind of cute stuff though. Sold for twenty six, I make seventeen eighty two. My next was Miss Amanda and she decided to buy herself a little bundle. She got this Tupac, Tupac Shaker. <laughs> Tupac Secure Blue Tie-Dye Graphic Short Sleeve Shirt and this Brandy Melville Coastal Gray Knit Open Front Cardigan. Bundle sold for $20. I hope she enjoys them. You know? <laughs> the end. They are out of my life. They are now in her life. And I hope she really appreciates them. I make 16. My next on the 11th was this Y2K Crochet Square Neck Little Flare Sleeve Top. Sold for $14. I make $11.05. Vince Find, you know, just sell it. Yeah. Just sell it. Like, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep my $10. I'll keep my 10 bucks. Thank you. My next on the 11th was this Hilo Hattie Hawaiian Vibrant Printed Skort. I don't think this did very good because it was a skort. Like, it didn't have the skirt flap on the back. It just had the skirt thing on the front. And I'm like, that's just a bib. You know? That's just a bib. Under me kilt. And my mother used to be a <laughs> skort human being. And I go, Gina, why did you wear skorts? And she goes, don't say that. Don't remind oh, thank me. Thank you. This one sold for $21. I will make $13.82. Usually Hilo Hattie does a little bit better than that. It's those like made in Hawaii, very classic Hawaiian shirt kind of a situation. My last on the 11th was also from Jack. The Intimissimi, Intimissimi, me, 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 me. Intimissimi. I have no idea how to say that brand. There's too many eyes. Floral black lace Y2K coquette little slip dress. This had a really adorable, really adorable little red floral print on it. Sold for $30. I will make $24. And that is it for the 11th. On the 12th, I had three, but I already told you the first one, so let's just pretend I had two. I had one. <laughs> so besides the Young Fabulous and Broke, I sold this Madewell, the perfect vintage crop wide leg pair of jeans, sold for 45 I get 36 I still love Madewell jeans, if they're a good style. I love them. If they're them. a good style, they do still perform as they used to. Yes, they do. And then the wildest, biggest sale of the week. This was pretty crazy and caught me totally, really totally good. off guard. This is really good. I sold this Etro Runway Pre Fall 2023 studded pair of platform clogs. These were wild. Clip clop clip. <laughs> Clampity clop. These were pretty wild. These sold for five hundred dollars. I did have them listed, I think, at like eight ninety five. But guys, like these were on the website still. They were pre fall twenty twenty three. So and like we they are were in just spring summer twenty twenty four. Yeah, like they're a season old, and they were still on the website for uh, like twenty five hundred dollars. I was just kind of like, what do I price? He said. But when I got an offer of five hundred on something from Boop. Etro, which can be a little trickier, take it. Sure. And I get 400. They were Debbie size. You know what? She could have. Debbie could have been clipped. The next family bins bash, she could have been like. I think that would have been like we're filming Debbie and them, and then we're filming the ambulance. I right should start naming. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want for Christmas? An apple or a sugar cube? <laughs> Poor Debbie. Okay. My one and only on the 12th, very applicable to the season woven wicker watermelon. Woven wicker watermelon. Say that five times fast. Whoa, look at that woven wicker watermelon bag. Sold for $29, and I will make $23.20. Super cute. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, on the 13th, <laughs> I had two. We had four on the 13th. Go we. Me. You I and win. your entire corporation. Me and the voices <laughs> in my head, yeah. My first sale went to literally someone whose username is like, mmm. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> so it was this Urban Outfitters Nirvana oversized one size fits all band tee. If you ever find these band tees that look like about an XL to two XL, and they yeah. say one size fits all, they're Urban Outfitters. Yes, they are. I think they're the only people that sell them. So even if there's no like you can't find the model picture, or you can't find the RN number, like they're always Urban. I, again, I don't think anyone else sells these. This one sold for twenty five. I get twenty. You actually can get quite a bit more for these. This one had a lot mm -hmm. of like stains and spots to it that were not on purpose. They are very like... They're meant to be distressed, but this was definitely not like only the distressing. I have one and I use it as my like cleaning t-shirt. Yeah. So it is kind of like, it is like a garbage t-shirt. This is like one of the <laughs> biggest urban bolos. Like oh, urban urban. They sell every time, even with so, added flaws. That's so, so good. Yeah. And my other sale was a good one. A really good one. Mm. Philosophy de Lorenzo Stefani horse... Western, also I said that wrong, it's Serafini, not Stefani. This, I found it in a consignment situation, a and this is not a brand to pay up for. Not a 
I mean, it's a bolo because it's really expensive, but it is like very, very, very risky. She's niche. To pay up for. She's niche. But like, look at this thing. When I found it, I think I paid almost like a hundred dollars for this because I was like, it's so cute. I would agree. I had it's to, and so I think it was cute. still like on like net a porte and stuff. But I mean, I still had it for over a year, maybe a year and a half. But it did sell for two hundred and fifty dollars. I get two hundred, even <laughs> if I just doubled it. I can say that was in my closet, and it was so cute. It had a ton. I like it's adorable and I've been lowballed quite a few times not surprising my first on the 13th a lovely little Dooney and Burke moment Dooney and Burke Y2K 90s black leather top handle bag sold for $40 I make 32 next was something also from the bins hall that you will see on Tuesday Abercrombie and Fitch 90s relaxed high waisted pair of jeans these sold for $30 I make 24 Abercrombie I think is like a good bread and butter brand now it's not like 50, 60, $70 too much anymore. But like, if you find them in the bins, it's a good 30 to 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. I think like, I've, I've seen I'll a lot that. of it at like TJ's and I'm sure that's what's ruining yeah. Apple. Well, here she goes. Not as much worth the pay up anymore, but no. still, uh, maybe like the Curve Loves would still be like yeah. a good like $11, $12 pay up possibly. You're not going to make like a hundred bucks on them. Yeah. yeah. My next on the 13th full price sale of the Lucky Brand and Journey graphic band t-shirt. Sold for $34. I make $27.20. My last on the 13th was this Anthropology pink, yellow, check, little crop sweater. Sold for $29. I make $23. 20. On the 14th, I had two. We had three. And my first one went to Miss Melanie. And no, it was not the coach. I the love hall. Melanie. I think I saw a comment on my last haul that said, Did like, you buy that already? Someone else said, like, just waiting for Melanie to buy the coach. Melanie, she has a brand. She's she does. She's, she's a notable name. She's yes, a known she name. Is. So she got this Every Carly Red Plush Soft Turtleneck Sweater. This thing was so freaking soft. So for 36, I get 25 82. She said she'd been looking for a good turtleneck all winter. So now a she's good turtleneck one. will take you far. A good turtleneck. A good turtleneck will take you very far in this world. And then I also sold this Rails Hunter Soft Button Flannel Shirt. Sold for only 25, I get 20, but this was an older one and those do go for a little bit less than the newer ones. Yeah. So I'll take it. My first and 14th, a lot of bundles this day. Bundle of these Levi Blue Denim High Waisted Distressed Jeans and this Franken Oak Blue Lived In High Waisted Jeans. Sold for $35 and I make 28 i have a lot of jeans and a lot of my jeans i just want to like close my eyes and snap and have them not be there anymore yeah. <laughs> i want them to be gone which would be good my next on the 14th this is like my little like okay ryan like relist your stuff this had been sitting in our laundry room for an eternity i don't remember why there was no stains there was nothing wrong with it it was this anthropology Raina gill green floral flutter sleeve dress i listed it at 50 i got a 42 dollar offer like 15 minutes later nice for what? I will make thirty-three sixty. My last on the 14th is a five-item little bundle of this Third Love 24-7 classic strapless bra. Y2K granola girl brown fisherman knit tank top. Levi's 550 classic cutoff shorts. Levi's 501 cutoff shorts. And the really adorable Nike red golf Swiss dot pleated little short skirt thing from the bins a couple times ago. Yeah. Super cute. Sold for $60 and I will make 48. On the 15th, the last day of this What Sold Saturday week, I had five. I only had one. My first sale, this is a new bolo brand and it will definitely be on the next men's bolo list that we would do. Mm -hmm. It is Poncho Outdoors and this is the Pagosa flannel plaid shirt. So cute. Their whole thing is the magnetic buttons, which I know you guys probably know because I just talked about this in the haul this week. Sold for $50, I get 40 and that was like the day or the next morning after I listed it. That's pretty good. Then I already sold the Ever Eve rd style buffalo plaid tan checker sweater which i'm so glad i picked up i was about to not pick it up just because so as i said i don't want sweaters sold for 40 i get 32 the only sold one had sold for like 67 and so when i was sitting there looking at it i'm like I can't. how do i, I not can't like not I know. So then I sold this Her Pony Floral Button Top, and this actually went to Shown. So hello, Shown, and thank you for shopping at my closet. She got this for $31. I get $21.82. This is an interesting little, like, new girly Her Pony. Brand. It gives Portlandia. It gives Sparkle Pony. Yeah. New little, like, girly boutique, like, for the girlies. Like, they the do girlies. a lot of prints. They do mm -hmm. some kind of retro-y looking stuff, and it can be a bolo. Some people list a little lower, but it definitely can go for a lot. They actually have some men's, and they have this like moon and star printed like men's button up. I think mm -hmm. some of it's even metallic. And I was like, oh, okay, wait a but, second. Okay, but wait. wait a second. It almost seems like wait a minute. it's uh, like Coachella. 
wear. Mm -hmm. Like festival wear. That's literally see, the word I'm looking I for. I can see that. Seems kind of like a festival wear brand that makes that. men's and women's. Then I saw the unique vintage Riviera bridal midi embroidered dress. And this sold for 135 and I get 10502. And either this is for a costume or someone's using it for something wedding related. Oh, so it's I, a little bridal dress. I absolutely. That would be love really that. cute for like a shower though. Yeah. That'd be adorable. Then I sold this Free People Beach Marlowe hemp cotton dress sold for 40 i get 32 that was a bins find i love free people beach yes. my one and only on the 15th is very reminiscent of miss Lori tata because it is this free people corset detail sweat floral little knit top but it was in outer banks i don't know a thing about outer banks i don't know who anybody is that's what we watched when i went and visited her a couple years ago oh. and it sold for 40 dollars, and i will make 32. thanks Lori. thanks Lori. <laughs> this you gal okay so my gross for this week was quite good and this is only for poshmark it was a 24 10. 7.93 nice both go me and my net was 1928. mine was 634.40 which is nice. a joy because i literally think everything was basically bad this week or given to you yeah it, or like under ten dollars yeah love those weeks yep so that's all that we have for you guys today but again stay tuned on tuesday for ryan's haul yes. it's just gonna be him hauling though i will be here reacting it's gonna be only ryan showing stuff and then on thursday if you guys have any ideas or wishes or wants let me know because i can kind of do whatever like do we want another day in the life it's been a good what month and a half it's been a minute yeah i don't know maybe it. we'll see don't know yet but we will see you when you choose to see us goodbye bye mm -hmm.